A whitetail buck goes through an unbelievable transition each year. Each spring antler growth begins and lasts through the end of August. Mature whitetail's antlers can grow at a rate of one inch per day. Early in September, a buck will rub the velvet off his antlers. The antlers will remain attached until midwinter when he sheds them. I've only ever bow hunted in Minnesota. It's very rare here for a buck to still be carrying their velvet once our season opens in mid-September. So when I knew I was going to North Dakota to hunt the early season for a velvet buck, I couldn't wait. After purchasing an over-the-counter archery tag online, I began making preparations for the trip. I, along with four friends, traveled to North Dakota for the archery opener beginning September 2nd. Opening day, I was lucky enough to take a beautiful buck in full velvet. Holy cow. Got horn sticking backwards, forwards, non-typical stuff. Look at this guy. Oh, unbelievable. Got palmated antlers, huge G2s and 3s. Got some non-typical funny stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. What an awesome buck. This is just this is just great. This is really sweet. That's a heck of a nice buck. Beautiful. Wow, that's what it's all about. Once we started planning this year's trip, I could hardly wait to get back. My two cousins, Brad and Chad, my brother Nick and I made the nine hour trip. We arrived a day early to check stand locations, do some scouting, and sight in our bows. We'd be hunting both private and public land. North Dakota has excellent opportunities for both. We're in North Dakota. It's August 31st, opening day. We're back again we had a great season last year um, super excited the bucks are still in velvet you know we don't get this sort of opportunity back in minnesota so it's it's often be back again little brother nicholas is videotaping tonight super pumped to have him along for the hunt uh, we're gonna hang a stand for him we're gonna be in the same tree he'll be right above me and it is hot i mean it is hot out here i'm sweating but I'm using a lot of scent spray we're hoping to catch a big boy moving early up in north dakota That was unbelievable. We were in there, we must have sat for about six and a half hours, so it was a long sit, and we didn't see anything, nothing, until the last half hour of shooting light. And all of a sudden, the deer just started coming, coming in like crazy. I think we counted six or seven different bucks, and at least two does and one fawn. The third buck almost busted us. He came in and then he stopped. And he looked up at us, and I thought, oh, we're busted, and he started stomping his foot around. What an exciting hunt. Can't wait to get back out there tomorrow morning. Saturday morning would prove to be just as exciting. We were in the stand less than five minutes before we had activity. We grunted in a young eight-point that had already rubbed off a lot of his velvet. Less than an hour later, I heard Nick whisper, shooter, shooter. Before I had a chance to turn around, I heard leaves crunching as a nice ten-point buck stepped within bow range. We'll just kind of go find the arrow and, and take our time over there because I usually like to wait a couple hours, but we're, we're pretty sure he's down. So we'll just move in on him real slow and, and we'll be ready in case he gets up. Jeepers. Look at that. I wonder if I got his, his offside shoulder. I'm pretty sure it was a heart shot, but uh, 
That arrow is broke and there is blood everywhere. All right, look at this. This is what it's like following a blood trail left by a rage. I mean, you're not looking for drops of blood, you're following a, a highway. This is a really good sign. Don't see this every time, it doesn't always go the way you think it does, but this is a really good sign. I think we're gonna find them right over here. Well, here we are, year two in North Dakota. Second year in a row, second successful hunt on video. Uh, he's in velvet, just gorgeous velvet. This is why we come up here, it's so much fun. I got, the best part about it is, we're up here with family, it, me and my little brother, Nicholas, doing the videotaping, my two cousins, Chad and Brad, and we're staying with a great buddy, Jay. He is a gorgeous deer, he is super heavy. Velvet's just pristine. What an awesome buck, I'm so excited. Gosh, this is fun. I love it.